Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. It's a little housekeeping, family. If you look at the links below. Um, you will see how to uh, donate to the channel, how to um, uh, be a part of the, the team. And um, we look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to seeing your emails and whatever else. Y'all got to excuse me because I'm still playing around with this stuff. You know, I'm not the best with it, but I'll get better. Trust you me. Y'all young people, you really know how to do this because a lot of y'all learned this in school. I had to learn it on the fly, right? So with that being said, um, you know, this is a story that I wanted to talk about because I believe we're going to start hearing a little bit more of this. Like the uh, uh, officer in Dallas or the guy in Dallas that um, ended up committing Harry Carey um, because of the situation of uh, you know what happens to us on a daily basis and at some point you just flip or you have an in, um, a mission in your heart to hurt somebody the way they hurt you. Hurt people usually hurt people. And that's just the way it go. Um, regardless of what whether you think is right or wrong. Uh, America sure goes after its enemies. And uh, it's only wrong when we individually go after ours. So I think that's another brainwash. Anyway, with that being said, this is kind of uh, a sad story. Uh, because this was the first day on the job. This guy was 26 years old. Shot on the first day of his job, leaving behind a wife and a six-month-old daughter. Statewide manhunt is scheduled for killer who struck outside Georgia police station. Um, a Georgia police officer and father to a baby girl was shot and killed on the first day on the force early Saturday morning. And authorities are warning fellow officers that his killers are his killer is still on the loose. Alamo police officer Dylan Harrison, 26, who leaves behind a wife and a six-month-old daughter, was fatally shot outside the department police station at around 1 a.m. The cop had just started his first shift ever for the Alamo Police Department part-time after beginning his career in law enforcement uh, back in 18 as a full-time Onasi uh, Okini Drug Task Force agent. Trash task for agent. Meanwhile, law enforcement officials say the suspected gunman, 43-year-old Damian Luke Anthony Ferguson, is still armed and dangerous, with authorities issuing a blue alert, blue alert in an effort to safely capture him. Authorities didn't immediately release any further details behind the shooting, nor did they confirm whether Ferguson had targeted Harrison due to him being a cop. Um, the outlet reports that deputies described Ferguson as a 5'10 and around 2'15 with short black hair and brown eyes. The investigation has been joined by several local and state police, uh, state law enforcement agencies. And anyone with a tip um, should contact 1-800-597-TIPS. Anyone who sees him should call 911 immediately. Early this morning, one of our law enforcement officials in the middle of Georgia, in middle Georgia, was killed in the line of duty. This is what the uh, mayor, uh, Governor Kemp wrote. Our thoughts and prayers are with the officer's family, friends, and colleagues at the Alamo Police Department. May God continue to be with those who all who protect and serve. Uh, how about God be with everybody? You, never mind. The sheriff of nearby Telfair County, Sim Davidson expressed similar condolences. Our sincerest thoughts, prayers, and condolences to the family, friends, and colleagues for our officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty last night. We are sincerely grateful for his service. Harrison was the first Alamo police officer to be killed in the line of duty, according to that town. However, Alamo police officer Arturo Vilas died from COVID earlier this year. One of nearly two dozen Georgia officers who have died from the coronavirus. 
This year alone, at least five Georgia police officers have been killed in the line of duty, while seven Georgia officers were killed in the line of duty last year, according to the uh, Officer Down webpage. It's very unfortunate. Um, and uh, nearly two dozen officers, that's 12, nearly 12 officers died from coronavirus. Interesting. Anyway, I guess they're not masking up either. So, like I said, y'all, unfortunately, when you read a story like this, you know, the first day on the job is sad. It is sad for any human being to lose his life and leave a, a, a baby behind. And there's no, no words to, for that. But I still say that it's going to be a lot more of that until we start getting some justice. I do believe that. I feel that, and I'm and I don't. I'm not saying that that's a winning strategy at all. I'm just saying people can only take so much. They can only take so much before they start wilding out like this, losing their mind. That's a lose lose situation, you know, because each officer, each situation should be done on a case by case basis, but the institution of policing needs to be. Overhaul and readdressed and replaced with a system of justice. But this is not the way to do it. Pick them off one at a time. Unless that's the same way they think they should do to us. I don't know what y'all think about this Georgia. Some of y'all out there live in Georgia. Some of y'all, my subscribers, uh, they said middle Georgia. I don't know how far this spot is from Atlanta. Alamo police officers. So just curious. Anyway, let me leave your comment below. Let me know how y'all think. What y'all feel about this? Wow. Like what you hear. Subscribe. Share. And I'm going to see you in the next video.